stop listening to Rema. Hope you guys can see this word here. This word here. The demonic imagery that Rema oh, uses. I don't care what you guys see. Tell me, Rema. Who is that? You got someone? people saying Rema repent. Rema throw up this hand sign. Once upon a time in the city of Benin, a young church boy held a mic in one hand and a Bible in the other. He spewed angelic melodies of gospel rap that captivated congregations and earned him the name R-H-E-M-A, Rema, a Greek word that means the spoken word of God. But little did anyone know that this church boy's path would take an unexpected twist. This video unravels the riveting tale of Rema, the church boy turned musical trailblazer. Rema was a young artist driven by a love for music and a fervent desire to spread God's word. This love led us to witness the rise of a remarkably talented individual destined to make a significant impact in the music industry. His rap group within the church walls, known as Rap Nation, became a sensation that stirred souls and ignited hope. The rhymes he spun carried the weight of spirituality and his performances were hailed as divine interventions. The church boy had found his calling and his destiny seemed sealed within the comforting embrace of gospel music. It was within the confines of his beloved church that Rema's artistic ambitions began to sprout wings, longing to explore uncharted territories. But life has a peculiar way of shaking our foundations and testing our faith. In his own case, life presented him with unexpected challenges, including the loss of his father and brother, which placed immense financial burdens on his family. Faced with the need to support his loved ones, Rema sought alternative avenues to make ends meet. Rema's journey to make ends meet took him from the sacred halls of the church to the unholy trinity of bars, lounges, and political rallies. Yes, you heard it right. Our dear Rema, the church boy extraordinaire, found himself traversing uncharted territories in pursuit of survival. Benin City became the backdrop for this unexpected transformation. Life was tough, and Rema, with the weight of his family's well-being on his shoulders, ventured into unfamiliar territory. Holding a microphone in one hand and standing amidst the clinking glasses and swirling smoke from cigarettes in a bar, he would pour out his gospel-infused verses, hoping to earn a few coins to feed his loved ones. It wasn't an easy decision, mind you. Rema, with his heart of gold, couldn't fathom asking the church for financial assistance. Not at all. He took matters into his own hands, venturing where angels feared to tread, embracing the limelight of political rallies and lending his voice to the cause. Oh, the irony of it all. Rema witnessed the conflicting emotions and the gradual drifting apart from his gospel roots. The whispers of judgment and confusion filled the air. But hey, who said life was a straightforward journey paved with choir robes and angel wings? While his journey took an unexpected turn, his mother, a devout religious figure within the church community, struggled to comprehend her son's artistic evolution. She vehemently opposed it as she had raised him to follow the path of the Lord. Why would he venture onto a different path, she wondered. With his eyes gleaming with determination and his dreams reaching for the heavens, Rema stood before his mother, attempting to explain his newfound direction. The atmosphere was tense, burdened by the weight of tradition and expectations. However, Rema was a resilient soul who refused to be discouraged. With unwavering conviction in his voice, he pleaded, Trust me, mom, I understand your concerns but I need to follow my passion and explore new avenues. I just told her to trust me. Yeah. It's just where life has drawn me towards yeah. and I have to take the opportunity. His mother, who was at this point torn between her deeply ingrained beliefs and unconditional love for her son, hesitated. I mean, think about it. How could she reconcile the boy who once sang hymns with a young man now embarking on a circular journey? It was definitely a clash of worlds, but then, Rema's unwavering determination and the unbreakable bond between a mother and her son led to his mother's eventual acceptance and testaments of the power of love and understanding. It was at this point that Don Jazzy, a renowned music producer, entered into Rema's picture. 
Tunjazi was known for his golden touch, capable of transforming ordinary artists into superstars. And with his keen eye for untapped potential, he recognized something extraordinary within Rema's talents. He saw beyond the confines of gospel music and envisioned a new path for the church boy. With a snap of his fingers and a stroke of genius, he embarked on a mission to redefine Rema's artistic identity. The entrance of Donjazi into Rema's life marked a pivotal turning point. His reputation as a successful music producer preceded him and his arrival sparked curiosity and anticipation among supporters and skeptics alike. There was an air of uncertainty as no one knew what Donjazi had in store for Rema or how this collaboration would unfold. Don Jazzy set his sights on rebranding Rema, molding him into a new persona that would captivate the circular music industry. Together, they embarked on a creative journey that would not only challenge Rema's previous artistic boundaries, but also test the faith and convictions of those who had known him from the start. Within this transformative odyssey, Rema underwent a rebranding and reinvention so profound that it birthed a new identity, Rema. R-E-M-A, unburdened by the silent H that once defined him. The metamorphosis was swift and powerful. Armed with a multi-million Naira record deal, Rema stepped onto the stage of the music industry with unwavering confidence. The world watched in awe as he unleashed his unique style and captivating melodies, leaving behind a trail of hit songs and infectious rhythms. But as his star ascended, the echoes of disappointment reverberated within the church walls. Rema's artistic expression ignited debates, triggered TikTok frenzies, and left fans and critics alike scratching their heads. It all began with the remix of Victoni Soweto, where Rema dropped a bombshell, a mention of for context, the word Karishika means a girl sent by Lucifer. In Nigerian folklore, particularly within the Yoruba culture, Karishika refers to a mythical creature or a type of evil spirit. It is believed to be a malevolent entity associated with witchcraft and black magic. The term gained popularity through Nigerian movies and is often portrayed as a female entity with a seductive appearance, preying on vulnerable individuals to suck life and cause mayhem. Because of this backstory behind the name, the internet erupted with theories, TikTok videos dissecting the meaning behind the lyrics, and a flurry of accusations ranging from devil worship to hidden agendas. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Rema's album cover for Raves and Roses took the controversy to a whole new level. An image of a church flipped upside down, engulfed in flames, and an inverted cross adorned the artwork. The image invokes different interpretations. Some saw it as a symbol of satanic imagery, with the inverted cross representing rebellion against traditional Christian beliefs, while the flames symbolized chaos and destruction. Others viewed it as a critique of organized religion, challenging or rejecting religious authority. The image was also seen as a representation of personal transformation, with the inverted cross signifying a reversal of established beliefs and the flames representing the purifying or purging of old ideas. Either way, according to critics, one thing is common in the way it is viewed. It was a blatant mockery of Christianity. There were, however, others who saw it as mere artistic expression. As if the controversy from the image wasn't enough, eagle-eyed fans noticed Rema flashing the infamous Illuminati sign in his music videos. The speculation intensified and the internet became a breeding ground for conspiracy theories, with users piecing together intricate connections and hidden messages. Speaking of messages, fans couldn't help but notice the stark shift in Rema's lyrical messages. The tender verses of yesteryear were replaced with seductive innuendos and provocative wordplay. The boy who once sang about love delved into the realms of sensuality and passion. It's an evolution that has left some swooning and others questioning the motives behind this transformation. But is there more to it than meets the eye? Some theorists claim that there's an agenda at play, a meticulously orchestrated plan to shape the minds and desires of the masses. They point to the industry's influence, the allure of fame and fortune, and the temptation to succumb to societal expectations. 
As Rema gained popularity and recognition in the music industry, the pressure to evolve and stay relevant became increasingly intense. In the ever-changing landscape of the music scene, artists are often compelled to adapt their image and sound to capture the attention of the masses. Rema's decision to switch from gospel to secular music can be seen as a response to this pressure, as he sought to broaden his appeal and explore new creative avenues. As Rema's star continues to rise, a bitter truth echoes through his words. In several interviews, he talks about how his story serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the importance of investing in the gifts within our own congregations. The story of Rema, church boy turned secular sensation, may have reached its conclusion here, but his legacy and the impact of his music will continue to resonate for years to come. So go forth with a smirk on your lips and a song in your heart, probably one of Rema's songs. I'd personally suggest the song Calm Down. Anyway, enjoy the song and embrace the beautiful and unpredictable journey of life. For lockdown, for lockdown.